hey, well, it looks like I'll be making another video where I walk around the room and talk, you know. I think it helps me uh, think better and articulate what I have to say. Um, plus, I get a little exercise and burn a bunch of fat off, you know, because I'm so fat. One of the things that I want to talk about today is this big, you know, social media fad of the week, and it's Coney 2012. And um, it was posted less than a week ago, and it's gotten like close to 80 million hits on YouTube, spread everywhere on Twitter and Facebook, blah, 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 you know, the other sites. And, um, you know, pretty much any 15 year old with a laptop became an overnight uh, social activist, you know, just because they watched a 30 minute video and they're like, oh my gosh, look at this. I mean, the facts, the proof is in the pudding. We gotta have military intervention in Uganda. And because that's basically all the video is about. Now, I'm not trying to um, marginalize problems like this. I'm not trying to say, well, you know, child soldiers isn't a big deal because obviously it is. I'm not. But, you know, there's just a lot of that. things that have come out in the aftermath of this, uh, you know, this popular documentary on YouTube. And that is um, what to believe exactly. You know, there are, you know, some contradicting reports uh, from various people saying, well, uh, Coney has been inactive for the past few years. Some people say he's gone elsewhere. Some people even claim he's dead. I mean, it's just a bunch of other contradiction, um, contradicting uh, reports out there about this. And... Um, you know, I don't know exactly what to specifically believe on this issue. Um, you know, all I know is that you watch this documentary for 30 minutes. They talk about, oh, you know, here's what's going on in Uganda. You know, it's very sad. It's, it's meant to be a very emotional uh, video. It's, it is sad. I'm not saying, you know, child soldiers isn't a big deal. It is. It's a humanitarian crisis. However... You know, toward the you know, as I'm watching, I'm thinking, okay, I'm where I'm looking at the problem, but what's the solution that they're going to be advocating here? So you get towards the end of the video, they say, okay, now here are the culture makers and the policy makers that you can influence, and you can spread this video message around and get their attention, and then get them to take action. You know, and they list all these stupid celebrities, and then they go to the policy makers. You know, here we got to influence people like Bill Clinton and. Condi Rice and uh, John Kerry, John Boehner, I mean, just amongst a few, in order to do what we need to do. And I'm thinking, okay, well, what's, what's that mean? Basically what that means is, hey, let's fight a good war for a change. Let's go for a popular war. Let's, let's get some people involved in Uganda and get this Coney guy. You know, I'm not saying Coney's a bad, you know, not a bad person, obviously. He sounds like a piece of crap. But at the same time, there's a lot of contradictions out there saying, um, hey, you know, he's been inactive or it's, it's not as prevalent of an issue as it once was years ago. Um, I'm just very curious as to what this is all supposed to mean. You know, I don't believe everything at face value. Just because I watch some 30-minute documentary doesn't mean I'm you know, suddenly going to be like, oh, my gosh. It's, it's time to go to a good war for a change. It's time to get behind a war that Democrats and Republicans alike can get behind. See, that's the problem I have with stuff like this. Is Instantly, it sounds very suspicious, and I'm not exactly buying it 100%. I'm thinking, okay, that sounds like a bad issue. However, I need to see some more facts on the table before I could ever agree to something like that, something as serious as military intervention. And all I know is, is that late last year, Obama sent 100 military advisors to Uganda. And here's the, you know, to, I guess, fight the LRA, who are, still have a presence in that country. Uh, but uh, here's the thing. You know, the other end result that they were advocating was, you know, basically helping out the Ugandan government and fighting these people. Well, how is the Ugandan government, how do I know the Ugandan government is any better? Uh, than Joseph Kony and the LRA. How do we know this? I mean, you go to, you know, look at any of these African nations. 
in, in, the, in the third world, they're all corrupt. The militaries are corrupt. The top leaders and the presidents are corrupt. Uh, so why would helping them and aiding them be any better for the general population in those countries? I mean, that's so stupid. That's like saying, hey, let's go to Sudan and, you know, help out the president of Sudan. Obviously, we wouldn't do that, but um, I mean, it's just like that because the guy from Uganda probably is not any better than people who are members of the LRA. So we've got to be very cautious about stuff like this that tends to affect people emotionally and it tends to hold back some logic. It tends to hold back any further questions because they don't want to be seen as heartless if they ask any questions regarding a very popular 30-minute documentary that's on the internet. Because if you question it, you're seen as heartless and you, uh, you want to ask questions about this. You want to get the full picture. You want to hear other perspectives and get all the facts on the table. Uh, you don't have a heart. See, that stuff like this I have a problem with because it's all meant to be emotional and basically put blinders over you so you don't have to so that therefore it prevents you from asking any further questions because you think all of the questions were answered in the video so therefore I'm just not going to get involved I don't want to I don't want to question it I'm just going to go buy it I'm going to say Cody 2012 I'm going to put up posters on April whatever and get the message out yeah but the funny thing is you can post all this so you know, that's the other thing about this whole video yeah you can go in your town and post you know, Coney 2012, try to get the message out about a war criminal in your town and advocate military intervention, while at the same time, you would be advocating for other people to do the difficult work. You wouldn't be the one going to Uganda with an AK-47 or, or, you know, whatever. So I think that's the whole point of this video is just to talk about how this is really basically... Uh, made this a whole emotional movement, but there's, it seems to be there's a lack of thinking involved, a lack of logic, and that's really concerning when somebody, uh, you know, the people who are the makers of this documentary are encouraging further military intervention in the world. You know, you just can't say, oh yeah, let's go along with it because mm, it hit me in the heart. Can't let that happen to you. You cannot let emotions clout your judgment. All right, thank you for watching. Leave me uh, your thoughts on this Coney 2012 uh, video slash, you know, internet fad. Let me, uh, I want to hear your thoughts. Thank you.